Hey there, welcome to another video. In this video, we'll talk about the app structure we created in the last video, and we will also run our app for the first time and see how is the process of running the app on Shopify. So let's start. This is the app that we have created um, in the beginning of the video series. As I mentioned, one of the requirements for the this course is to know and understand Remix. So if you don't, please um, check the Remix documentation. They have a nice documentation. You can go to with the five minute quick start or the tutorial just for 30 minutes to understand the structure and how Remix work because the Shopify app is based on Remix. It will make your life very easy to understand. So let's go back to the app structure and I will explain a few things in here. And these are the folder. I have not committed anything yet, but I will do after the video and I also push the code to GitHub and you can find out on the GitHub repo under um, this video description. From here, the VS code, this one was generated only for me. Maybe you don't have this, but it is um, just related to the VS code setting. You have the app, dire the app directory in here. This is the app and uh, the directory where you spend most of your time. If I open it, this is uh, all the files you need about your app. If you are creating a new page for your app, if you are changing any setting in your app, this is where everything will happen. I'll close it for now. Let's move on to the next folder, which is built. You don't touch this. Uh, when you build your app, this will be automatically built. Extensions is where you have the app extensions. Uh, we will talk more about them in one video, in the future videos, what is extension and how we can create them, but this is where you store all your extensions. We don't have any yet, but I'll close it for now. Node module, very popular. Prisma, this is where you store all your database schema. So if you are storing anything in your database, uh, for example, um, the wishlist data, we will have the schema and all the migration in this folder. You have public directory, you will uh, put all the assets or images that you may use in the app dashboard. You just put them in the public directory and you can easily access that. Next up, you have some extra file in here. Most of them are not important and easy to understand like Docker file, git ignore, and some npm rc, um, prettyfire ignore. Um, you have the package.json. This one is something that I have to talk about. This is uh, where all your command exists. When, whenever you run something, if I open terminal, just pressing command tilde here, it will open terminal. Uh, if I run my app, I will normally come here and say npm or yarn. Um, let's just go with npm, uh, run div. And when I run this, it is going to run this command, Shopify app div. And you have to install Shopify CLI, which we discussed in the previous videos. Uh, if you want to run the migration, you have Prisma, you have setup. We'll talk in details about the database setup and how you can create them in the future videos. But these are all the command available for you. And then you have dependencies, Polaris, Shopify API. You have the Remix Shopify and also the Shopify uh, storage for Prisma. Then you have React also. This is the version that we are using. Other files are not important. Um, this one is Shopify app.taml. This is the app that you might, this is the, the file that you might um, update sometimes whenever you want to update the API uh, for the webhooks to listen for a new API at the time of recording this video. This is the API and this is the latest one. Uh, if this is POS embedded, this is false and where you are testing your app. This is the app test URL. From the top, I should have a software on the top. This is the app name that you have, client ID. This is uh, something that your app has uh, an ID in the Shopify admin. This is the app URL and every time you run this command, this URL will change because uh, this is the production, uh, this is the, your development uh, URL. Shopify will automatically generate that using the Cloudflare tunnel and it will update this file for you. Not only here, it will be also updated in the app um, setting. So that will be automatic. I will show you in a second if you go to the app, app setup. Uh, this is the URL for the app. So every time you run npm uh, run dev, it is going to update the URL in here and also these URLs. And this is one thing you have to note. In production, you can have multiple one of this one. One is for development, one is for production. In development, you can change this anytime you want, but in production, you have 
one domain that you normally don't change it we'll talk more about that in the future videos but it is important to understand how this file works next up is the access scope this is also important if you do not know what uh, scopes are it is basically a way of telling um, a store that these are the information i need for example someone installed the app in the store and you only need the product right you want to change something in the product you need the scope of right product if you want to change order you have to have the uh, read and write order access if you want to change something in the team you have to have a team access or the team write access these are the scope uh, for more details about this scope you can click in this link and it will give you a um, list of all the scopes available uh, for your app if i check out this as scopes in here and it is going to give you a list of them but we will um, update that in the future we don't need them but these are a list of all the scopes if you want to read all orders if you want to read customer payment method and all of this read file write file these are the scope name you just copy them and you just paste it in here every time you update a scope and the previous app that someone installed in the scope, scope will require you to reinstall the app or it will take redirect you to the update page and it will um, again get the new access for that specific store uh, we will see the flow in the future videos again this is all you need to know about the Shopify app structure in the next video we will talk more about this and um, how we can uh, change the database for now let's run the app and see how it works I will run npm run dev this is one of the popular command that we will use a lot and it should run my app in the app that in the store that we have uh, selected let's give it a few seconds it did run and there is also a flag of reset that if you want to reset the setting you can run the reset every time you do that so this is the url for the store that we are going to test i will press uh, comment and click on this url it should open the url for me it is going to go to this store that we have selected to the installation of the app this is the app that we have i'll bring the image here so yeah this is the app i have updated the icon in the app setting we saw that in the in the last video i just updated the icon in here this is a nice icon and rest of them basic things this is the polaris design uh, we'll talk more about polaris and how you can add your own components in polaris in the future video but it is looking very nice in here and this is something that uh, shopify already have done that you can generate product and it can generate a graph uh, graphql um, query for you and it can create the product for you that's it in this video and this is how you can run every time um, let's say we are done for today and you cannot work you just close this and tomorrow yeah, when you start the work again you will come and run the code again and then your code will reflect live in here and you can find all these um, files inside the app directory if you go to the root uh, this is where everything is stored um, again you can go to the routes these are some other files which we will discuss in the next video but yeah that's how you can run your app uh, thank you for watching i will see you in the next video